see we have seen the risk priority number which is the product of uh, severity yes occurrence so and uh, uh, the, the direction rating d okay so the, the product of all these three will give you the risk priority number so i told uh, the higher the risk priority number that is always a way for us uh, to have a proper control uh, to ensure that we are going to have a proper direction matter as a, as a way forward to reduce the risk priority number okay uh, just a second So we've seen a DFM in last uh, session for a battery management system. Um, now uh, we'll see on what basis the severity rating has been given. And this will also vary depending upon um, the, the item definition or a function. Uh, let us start with the high value, high numbers. So if the severity is going to be 10, it then it means you have very high severity ranking when a potential failure mode affects the safe vehicle operation and it is related to the non-compliance with respect to the government regulation where you don't have any warning this is what also i mentioned in the last session and if you have warning and then it is going to be nine rating and uh, if you have a, a severity where the vehicle becomes or an item becomes inoperable with the loss of primary function then you have to give eight points uh, vehicle or item operable but reduced level of performance where the customer is getting dissatisfaction you need to give uh, seven points and uh, again uh, the effort is going to be uh, moderate when the vehicle is operable but uh, the, the convenience is uh, but uh, with respect to the convenience or with respect to uh, comfort point of view, uh, it becomes inappropriate where we give uh, six points here. And the effort is going to be low for which you give the five ranking or five points where the vehicle uh, becomes operable, but the convenience will be at a reduced level of performance uh, where the customer will also experience some dissatisfaction here. And uh, again, if it is very low, then you will have a kind of uh, uh, defect which will be noticed by mo most customers. Where it, say, for example, it may be fit and finish or a squeak and rattle item which does not conform. And the effect is going to be very minor uh, when where the, the defect is been noticed by some of the average customers. And uh, the effect is going to be very minor. For which you give the ranking as two or the points as two and here uh, the defects is been noticed by noticed only by the discriminating customer very very uh, uh, very very few customers notice this uh, uh, severity and if you don't if it is not going to have any effect and it is going to be uh, one point so these the different points are the ranking what based on which we will be giving the the values with respect to the CVRD point of view. So last lesson, uh, what I've given for the uh, battery management system, catching the thermal fire or the thermal runaway. Uh, so I've given some letter to two, three values. Okay, all these are based on uh, the CVRD rankings. And again, this will also vary with respect to the different OEMs, depending upon uh, the design what they have made and uh, uh, what is the current scenario that the particular uh, design is going to have now with respect to occurrence point of view uh, again uh, this is going to have a ranking of 1 to 10 same like with respect to the severity what we have seen but again uh, here uh, the ratings are been given considering the probability of the failure uh, where the, if in case if the probability of the failure is going to be very high say for example uh, if you're going to have uh, persistent failures okay uh, which comes under a rank of 9 and 10 um, say for example if we have uh, a failure possible failure rates greater than or equal to 100 per thousand vehicle then you need to have it's not only with respect to vehicle even for an item 
um, item in the sense here what we have taken is a battery management system uh, so considering that uh, you give us a 10 points here if it gets if we get 100 failures out of sorry out of a thousand uh, product or a vehicle if we get 100 failures then you give us a ranking as 10 and coming back to the second one uh, if it is uh, uh, 50 uh, per thousand vehicle then you're going to give the ranking as 9 and the second property of failure is going to be frequent failures uh, where uh, if it is 20 per thousand vehicles or 20 failures for a thousand battery management battery system okay battery pack then we are going to give us uh, eight year and if it is going to be 10 per thousand uh, vehicle then it is going to be seven and uh, if the failure property of failure is going to be occasional uh, where it can range between four to six ranking uh, say for example if the ranking is going to be six then you you may have experience uh, on an average of uh, five uh, defects or five failures uh, out of thousand vehicles or a yeah, thousand uh, uh, battery pack what we, what we have seen in the last session and if the failure rate is going to be two per thousand uh, then uh, the ranking is going to be five and if it is going to be one out of thousand then the ranking is going to be four and if it is relatively few failures, say for example, uh, 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 very, very, very less, uh, for example, 0.5 uh, out of uh, 1,000, or when it, when it comes uh, 10,000 vehicle, out of 10,000 vehicle, only five, five out of the vehicle is going to have defects. And uh, for which you give the ranking as three. And out of 10,000 vehicle, if you have or a, or a product, 10,000 battery pack, you are going to have only one defect, few failures, for which you give the ranking as two. And failure is unlikely, then where which is very, very, uh, the probability is very, very less, and the failure is going to be unlike, for which the ranking is going to be one. So last uh, session, we have given uh, two uh, for, for the battery runaway. Which means the probability of failure is very relatively very few very, very means very less uh, based on which we given the ranking with respect to the probability point of view and the last uh, with respect to the the risk priority number uh, is the detection rating table uh, where the likelihood of detection is by the design control methods uh, and again uh, this design fmea is going to be a uh, uh, directly with respect to uh, the ranking 1 to 10 where the ranking 10 is uh, absolutely uncertain uh, uncertain and uh, where the descent control will not have a, a, you don't have any proper uh, descent control methods or mechanism for which the failure mode is going to occur and because of the failure mode the cause the effects is going to be very high and if you have the proper descent control methods uh, uh, then at least uh, you can have a, you can avoid uh, those things. That's what we have used some wideband technologies for a battery pack uh, uh, as, as a point of uh, control methods. And uh, in the case of uh, uh, the controlled environment where the dust will not enter, which will lead to a short circuit, which will lead to the failure. Uh, again, uh, by, by avoiding all this and uh, having the poka yoga in the, in the manufacturing assembly, so even that, that also you can have some proper control. Um, uh, so that because of assembly the dust will not enter uh, uh, and that will lead to the failure uh, if you have the proper mechanism uh, no, not only with respect to design even for a process then uh, this can be um, easily controlled such a way even it, when you say it is easily controlled then the ranking is going to be lesser when when the ranking is going to be lesser uh, as you know the product uh, rpn the CVRT occurrence and direction is going to be lesser which means uh, we have the proper uh, mechanism such a way the the, uh, the failure modes or uh, the, the the effects is not is going to be very very um, minute okay let us go to a few other rankings with respect to the the direction point of view or direction rating table uh, so uh, when i say nine ranking it is uh, we have very remote chance that design control will direct a potential cause or a mechanism and subsequent failure mode so it's very important that you need to have some mechanism the objective here is to have some design some some design control methods where you have the proper mechanism to avoid uh, uh, the failure modes 
and uh, coming back to the, if the direction is going to be eight ranking then it is going to be a remote one where there is a remote chance that the decision control will detect a potential cause uh, uh, mechanism and also the subsequent failure modes and if the direction is going to be very low then you have a very low chance that the decision control will detect a potential cause mechanism and subsequent failure mode and uh, there is again uh, the direction is going to be ranging between almost certain to low uh, with respect to the ranking one to six and what we have seen is uh, the mechanism where we have high direction uh, solutions where there is a very high chance that the design control will detect a potential cause mechanism and uh, subsequent failure mode that's what uh, when there is a over voltage we have taken an example when there is a over voltage then um, the bms will will go to the safe state which means it will also shut off uh, again this is basically a control method which will uh, which will uh, avoid the failure modes and uh, it's going to have a safety mechanism um, and here so here the safety mechanism what what we have defined in an item is the battery back or a battery management system should uh, avoid the fire or a thermal run away of, uh, so considering that uh, we have given the, the direction method as uh, or two, two ranking basically